Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about Serialize and how to use it to build your own custom serializers in your Rails apps. So typically, you're thinking of Serialize as something like we're taking a Ruby hash and converting it to JSON to save in the database and then parsing it back out from the JSON to a Ruby hash. That's what you see here. Serialize the metadata column. If we assign a hash to it, it's gonna be encoded as JSON in the database and then decoded from the JSON into a Ruby hash. Voila, you can also do this with YAML and other things. But the thing that we are interested in is how to use the same feature to do some cool stuff. So let's serialize, say a price column that is a cent in the database, so it's an integer and we don't have to deal with any rounding issues or anything like that. Um, but we want a coder for a price and we can then define a model file called price. You could define this anywhere as long as you have the class price defined um, to use this to represent whatever's in our database. So this just needs two methods defined, self.load, the value, and we also need self.dump, the value, and these are the two methods that will uh, basically take the data out of the database or put it into the database. So we're gonna need an initialize here, taking something like the amount, 